Hello everybody. Welcome to our channel. In last videos, we have learnt about respiration in animals. In this video, we are going to know about respiration in plants. As we know about stomata or gaseous exchange places in plants. Along with stomata, in plants there are some other areas which helps in gaseous exchange. So totally the parts which helps in gaseous exchange are stomata, lenticels, aerial roots or respiratory roots. Stomatas are present in all leaves. Through stomata, air enters and leaves the leaf. Lenticels. These are raised pores in the stem of a plant that allows gas exchange between the atmosphere and the internal tissues. Lenticels are present on surface of roots and stems. Aerial roots are respiratory roots which are specialized structures helps in gas exchange in mangrove plants. As well as the tissue in orchids that provides the oxygen also required by plants to produce energy. Conduction within the plant. The stomata openings leads to a series of open spaces between the cells of the plant. These open spaces form a continuous network all over the plant. These spaces are known as air spaces. Air spaces are very large in the leaves and smaller in other parts of the plant. These air spaces are lined with water where the oxygen is dissolved. Dissolved oxygen passes through the cell wall into the cytoplasm by diffusion process. After reaching the cytoplasm, oxygen helps in sugar breakdown. In breakdown of sugar, it produces carbon dioxide and water molecules along with the energy release. The released energy is stored in the form of ATP in mitochondria. The released carbon dioxide passes out to the stomata. When the oxygen is used up by the cells, in the concentration of gases, variation occurs. Due to this, the air in the air spaces passes to the cell. In the same way, the variation also occurs between the air in the air spaces and the air outside the stomata. Due to this, the oxygen from outside passes in through the stomata to air spaces. In the same way, more carbon dioxide is released by the cell. It also develops a variation in concentration of carbon dioxide gases and the same reverse action takes place and it passes outside to the environment. Aeration of roots. Most plants aerate their roots by taking oxygen through the lenticels or through the surface of their root hairs. They obtain oxygen from the air spaces existing between the soil particles. But some plants which are grow in ponds or marshes have unable to obtain oxygen. In these plants, they face a problem of air transport is more difficult and not many survive with their roots permanently in water. They are adapted to the waterlogged conditions by developing some new structures. So one of the adaptation is they have a hollow stem. Another adaptation is aerial roots or respiratory roots. These aerial roots are above the soil surface and takes in oxygen through these 
roots in the process of diffusion and they transport the oxygen from above the surface to the below the surface parts of the plant so no more about respiration plants we should perform some activities the first one is carbon dioxide evolved during respiration required material bengal gram seeds beaker glass jar lime water soak the seeds in water before to perform experiment keep the germinated seeds in glass jar take a small beaker fill 3 by 4 with lime water insert the beaker in the glass jar carefully close the glass jar tightly make the same similar set with unsprouted seeds and leave them undisturbed for 2 days during this time observe the color of lime water in both sets in which set does the color change faster why after two days when we observe the color of lime water in sprouted seeds jar that is turned into milky white in color because the sprouted seeds perform respiration process and release carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide is diffused in lime water and that is changed into milky white color released carbon dioxide turns the lime water into milky white color unsprouted seeds set we observe only a small change in the lime water because they do not perform respiration process we perform another experiment heat evolved during respiration required material thermos flask germinating seeds thermometer take germinated seeds into the thermos flask take a one hole cork and insert a thermometer the bulb of the thermometer should dip in the sprouts now close the flask with the cork and record the temperature for every 2 hours do this at least 24 hours by observing records we understand that the temperature is increased so the germinating seeds evolved heat during respiration process key points in plants gaseous exchange takes place through stomata lenticels and respiratory roots air spaces are lined with water where the oxygen is dissolved in this and passes through the cell wall into cytoplasm oxygen is required by plants to produce energy and carbon dioxide released plants which are in ponds and marshes they have adapted to water logged conditions they developed special structures known as respiratory roots germinating seeds respires release carbon dioxide and produce energy